Yo, it's good. Let's get straight to it. 300 likes for part four, or I'm not dropping it. Please subscribe. <laughs> price action is one of the most overlooked things when people get into this. You can tie price action to pretty much everything because, again, majority of the time when we're looking at charts, that's all we're doing is reading and understanding price action. I'm not spending time on this. We've all seen those TikToks about this, the chart patterns and shit. Yes, they work. The only one you really need to be like looking at constantly and that I actually use to trade sometimes are bull flags. We did it twice right here. You obviously can see price climbs up. We consolidate back to the EMAs. We break through and see higher. Do it again. We consolidate back down to the EMAs and we see higher again. Bull flag and bear flags are really nice. Super easy to identify as well. Main things when it comes down to any sort of formation is looking at actual candle formations. Dojis can represent a change in direction and then hammers can indicate momentum going forward. In this small area I have charted out right now, we're going to build off these continuously. Now we look at our support and resistance. Obviously, we have both right here already charted out. These areas in between these zones, I consider dead zones. Now that doesn't mean they're worthless. I don't expect to see rejections in between this area meaning like how we rejected off this zone right here and you can see how clean price moved in between them don't worry i'm gonna have a whole nother video on how to draw these supply levels now we know candlestick patterns we have our levels out now we need to analyze the trend this is one of the easier ones you guys know i trade on the one minute time frame so it could change like this for me majority of the time it will be the reaction to the news that release in the morning so knowing that it can change like this what we need to do is be able to wait for the trend to be established then attack it from there you can see at this point price is moving very quickly and it's obviously going upwards i like to take scalps off emas when there's just a sharp trend in this scenario a close under the ema i would stop myself out i don't want to get in the trade right here because you can see how far we are from the emas emas are considered magnets so what they do is price usually pulls back to them when you see a sharp move up you can see we did close below at some point but buyers bought it right back up at this point when we're back above the ADMA, and obviously we close above the 200 I'm hopping in right away. Your win rate will be at least 50% if you just play with the trend. This is a numbers game. At this point, after we rejected off this level so hard, and like I said, we're in a dead zone, what is more likely to be seen? Continue this. That's already established, and we've already been very bullish since we rejected that level, or for us to come all this way and drop back down. And obviously, like you guys saw earlier, we we're banking we're banking establishing trend is very easy as long as you just look at your screen you don't have any other biases going on unless it's a news conviction even on the one minute right now you can see there's a clear trend if you can't identify the trend i don't recommend you should be even trading that day in these dead zones instead of trying to catch the top and see a move back down wait for a retest wait for price to pull back to these emas and try and catch the entire rest of the move this is where the average trading youtuber would be like this is how we understand the accumulation and distribution phase of the market i'm here to teach not fucking flex on you we're talking about an analyzing trend touching on this quick is just contextual analysis this has nothing to do with the chart and solely what is going on outside of the charts you are responsible for understanding how economics actually work when you trade these very short time frames usually this doesn't matter but just do yourself a favor every morning go check forex factory find your news times go on yahoo finance see what's going on in the world it's just nice to have overall understanding of the outside of the charts what's actually causing these things to move this way what did we talk about last video psychological analysis like i was saying what if we miss this entry earlier and we see price starting to shoot up of course we're going to be upset and this will happen to you in real time so i want you to always look back to this you need to have emotional control the more you avoid greed in your trading the better you're going to be at this point we need to understand price is going to come back to these emas if anything before we see this next high. That's 40 points on AQ. Price is not just gonna shoot up to this level, unless obviously some news factored in. We wait for it to retest the EMAs, then we look for the rest of the move. You're not gonna catch every play 100% every single time, but it's how you adapt and get better. Multi-level time frame trading is the best thing you can do for yourself. You guys know I like the one minute. This is the same exact chart, but on the two minute. I love the two minute, my favorite time frame. Remember I was telling you about these EMA retests? Every time we touched that EMA, we only saw higher until what? We hit our zone and then we started to reject it. I know everybody wants to trade in the one minute, but it's very tough. So I like to bounce in between the one and the two to just give myself an overall idea of what it looks like on other time frames. Everything is relative. So the more you distribute yourself across multiple time frames, the more you can have a overall general idea of what we're going to see next. You're only giving yourself more levels of confidence. If it looks good on the one minute, it looks good on the two minute, sometimes the five or the 15, I like to check as well. It's just giving me extra conviction to get into this trade with even more confidence so you guys stop freaking out during your fucking trades. You see how much we've built during this video? I'm attacking very small ideologies and look what's happening as we're putting them together. This is how we build a strategy. Let's finally talk about real-time observation. This is currently the market moving live right now as I'm recording this. Today's FOMC, so I'm really not even trying to trade. Today's FOMC, so nobody in the Discord is trading. 
and you better be fucking one of them. This is a great day for you to read live price action and not have any idea and any stress to hop into a trade. We know FOMC is going to ruin anything you try to do. What do we talk about chart patterns? What do you know? Double bottom right there. What do we talk about EMA retest where you see a big shoot up in price? Price always comes back to these motherfuckers. I'm telling you. Like I was talking about contextual news, FOMC's today, so we're not trading. I'm showing you these things in real time. Let's look at it on the one minute time frame and it's a little gross, but like I said, it's FOMC today. Who gives a fuck? Five minute looks kind of nice. As long as you continue to back test, obviously start developing a strategy, get these ideologies in your brain. Keep watching this series because I promise you, once you're done with this shit, you're going to be locked in. 300 likes for part four. Like and subscribe. Later.